What's up, mechanics? Welcome back to another episode of Tool Tuesday here at SEMA, Las live, Vegas. Live from SEMA. We are at the SEMA booth sitting in front of our prototypes table. Um, I don't know if you want to spin around and show. Oh, yeah. So we had a small break in between the oceans of people <laughs> who have come to see us. And uh, we decided to film Tool Tuesday right here in the booth so you guys can see what it's like in the action, in the middle of it. Yeah. Bam. So, <laughs> like we said, this is a prototype table. This is the stuff that's going to be coming out within the next four to six months. So this is a huge prototype episode. Sample, huge, sample, sample. Huge prototype episode. This is the one you want to watch. And we're going to start with... That was creepy. Why do you do that? <laughs> Bam. A finger ratchet. That... Uh, is meant for dual drive sockets. Pull up on that phone. So here's a finger ratchet, and it's got two uh, retaining rings on the inside so that you can just put any dual drive socket in there, locked in place, and use your fingers. Uh, that is going to be DDFR11. That should be out before New Year's. Perfect. Yeah. Next. Bam. You talk about that one. All right, so similar to our V232 and our BCT1, we have, now you gotta hold this. We have this guy. We do have a part number for this yet? No part number yet, but sample of it. As you can see, it has a slight offset because it's made for these electrical harnesses. So that one side can go under it and the other can leverage the actual tab backwards. So no more clunky pliers. It's another play on our button clip tool and our push pin remover. More to come, this is the next one in line. Check them out. Yeah, I mean, the bionic fingers, as I like to call them, works for many different things. So we can make a lot of different stuff. Yes, uh, we can. We have, this will be the third version of them. We've hit it twice. Let's try and hit it a third time. We'll see what comes after. Okay. Get the close up on this. That's a big, I mean, that's a half inch though. Look at this half inch. Stubby, stubby. half inch ratchet. This is gonna be part of our nano series of ratchets. It's locking, indexing flex head, half inch. Let's see the three eighths. Yeah, what I'm most excited about is this guy right here. Where is it? Oh. Ah, quarter inch body, three eighths square drive. Indexing. Locking. Locking. And. You guys asked for a stubby ratchet, three eighths. We got you a stubby ratchet, three eighths. And we'll have a quarter. We'll also have the quarter inch square drive in the same length. There is a longer, ver what are you doing? There, why do you do that? <laughs> there is a longer version. I don't know if we need a longer version. What do you think? We have the short. Do you need think that we need the long? Or is the short enough just by itself? I like both lengths, but... It's just not much of a difference. Are we going to do one or the other, or are we going to do no, both? No, we're definitely time? doing guy. We're deciding yeah. on guy. Guy and dude. All right. And man. Ah, this guy. All right, we said in a, one of our previous episodes, we said that what was in this case was very exciting and that we were, couldn't wait to show it to you guys. So... There we go. This is what it comes with. The smallest ratchet in the world, most likely. <laughs> and an extension. So you have this little dude. It's a square drive. A square drive. Okay, so you can use quarter inch sockets. Or you can use the half cut bits. These are S2 steel. These are 5 eighths of an inch in length. They are literally half the length of a normal bit. Look at the clearance you get. And now, if you need a longer handle, bam. So this is a true tight access kit. You have all these S2 half cut bits along with the world's tiniest ratchet. Hold that. And an One thing Mr. Michael here missed is that a lot of times you need a little bit of extra torque and that's why you can also use it as an L key. So you can put your bit down here in the magnetic insert and then you can actually torque it like an L key. It actually also works pretty well if you hold it like this <laughs> to run things in. Bada bing, bada boom. All Next. right. I'm very excited to show you guys this one. So here's an extension of ours. Uh, and what am I going to use it for? Pull it, pull it up. Oh! 
It is a box end flex head ratcheting wrench, deep box, that you can use on any length extension to have however much leverage you need. We'll do a set just like this, um, most likely eight through 19. Javi? Eight, eight to 19. Eight to 19. In quarter, and then in three eighths? Smaller sizes in quarter, the larger sizes will be in three eighths. And we're gonna pack them on a mag rail because you all already have extensions. Now you can have any size, any length ratchet you want. Flex head, deep ratcheting, 12 point. That's pretty sick. It's pretty neat. <laughs> I've caught them all. So you've seen uh, our extendable wrench extender, but now we have a new attachment which a lot of you asked for. A lot of people asked for They it. did, they did. A larger wrench ex uh, attachment. So for the wrench extender, a lot of people said that the old, it was the same width wrench that'll fit in it as the old style. So what we did is came up with a bigger attached head so you could fit bigger wrenches in there. Yeah, this will do up to what, like 32? No, 32 is the old one. That should do up to, Javi, do you know what millimeter that should go up to? 40. Up 40. to 40 millimeters. But wait. Here's one for 55. <laughs> and this is gonna go on this bad guy. That is absurd. So for all you heavy duty mechanics, all you heavy duty guys, we don't make wrenches that big. No, we do not. We don't have to worry about the That's ones that you That's not break. gonna be our problem. <laughs> Somebody else's problem. But we're giving you the tools to create that problem. <laughs> what else we got? Pocket. Pry bars. Show them on there. These pocket pry bars are Index the ones color. that a lot of people have been asking for. So straight and angled, right? Straight and bent. And how the fuck am I gonna see that? And it has the magnet on it. It has the magnet on it and the clip. Not the wraparound clip, it has the actual pressed in clip so you're not gonna have it popping off every time you freaking use it. This bent and nice straight. Thing. Super I've... nice. It'll be a little bit bigger of a Vim logo because that's kind of absurd, but you get the idea, we had these samples actually flown in to Vegas so we could show them. I don't know how much the color comes across, but it really pops. No, it pops, it pops. This is a very bright green. It looks really good. It's nice. All right, so. Now we have, you guys have seen You've seen, seen these. that, yeah, you've seen that, so I'm not even Nail pliers, Javi, give me something better. An 800 lumen. Pocket floodlight. Pocket floodlight. Adjustable dial. Thanks. <laughs> adjustable you didn't dial. Make the screen like bright. <laughs> adjustable dial. <laughs> Coming on here. Adjustable dial. Like I said ten times. Vim logo. Magnetic Flip. on the back. Magnetic on the bottom. Magnetic on the top. Magnetic on the back. USB C chargeable. Rechargeable. Adjustable. <laughs> All right. USB C rechargeable. I said that. It's a big thing. I did say that. Okay, it's not micro USB. This is USB C. All right. Javi. No, no, keep going, keep going. Finish your little toss-up. Give me toss the bearing up. packer. This is a grease packer. It's a bearing packer, and what makes it different is what you just saw. You're twisting this, as opposed to actually having to compress that and pack that grease in, you're gonna be twisting it down with a thread, and it's gonna make it a lot easier to actually push that grease through. And I think we're gonna put a square drive right there. Or he said a hex drive, so that you can Use a key or something? You can use it uh, like a, like a speed cool. ratchet or something. It's pretty cool. We like to make things easy. Give me the impact. Not that one. <laughs> okay. This is a impact extension, right? Impact extension that is fixed or swivel or dual swivel. On an extension, guys. We have this in an adapter. We didn't have extensions. And now we're going to. Alrighty. What else do we got? Um, okay, I don't know if we should show too much. Because when all this shit comes out, we need something to show you <laughs> for those Tool Tuesdays. I think uh, we're done there. How long are we at? Nine minutes. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we didn't, we couldn't really go over questions today, but leave your questions in the comments and we will answer them next week. We're already home, actually, at the time you're watching this. Yeah. Because. Yeah, so the audio, if you're complaining about the audio on this one, it's not don't our even, fault. Don't even edit the audio, just leave it. Just if it's, if it's, look if around. If you can hear us, There's a lot of freaking people here. All right, it's in the middle of the show. 
He insisted we did this in the middle of the show. I don't know why. We could have waited till after, but he insisted. So we did it now. And if uh, if you're here at SEMA, come see us. Ask for our code. How the hell would they do that if this is when we're oh, home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I forgot. laughs> All right. Thanks for seeing us. Think girl the group, SEMA. this guy. <laughs> well, I forget that we're posting it in the future. You just said it. Yeah. Well, I just forgot. <laughs> Anyways, peace out, guys. From SEMA, right. thanks for your support. Peace out. <laughs>